All right, guys, so check out the lock screen wallpaper uh, that's live, as you can see. It will move around the stars. And this is the always on display. We're looking really nice. The new autofocus feature uh, working on my Note 5. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Galaxy S8 full port running on my Note 5. Let's go do this, baby. Alright guys, so check out the lock screen wallpaper uh, that's live, as you can see. It will move around the stars, and this is the always on display. We're looking really nice. Alright, you can also see Infinity Live wallpapers working. Pretty cool stuff. Now you can also go ahead and change the live wallpapers. Just go here. You can choose from all of these default uh, infinity wallpapers. Let's go ahead and try something a little blue. Let's go ahead and try something a little darker with bluish color. And you can see it'll say infinity wallpaper will be applied always on display, home screen and lock screen. So if I set that, now you will see I get uh, different stars, which is pretty cool. All right, the launcher itself looks flawless and you've got all of the S8 original icons. This is 100% ported ROM, so you're gonna get all of the features of the S8 unless the Note 5 hardware doesn't support it. All right, uh, another cool thing I can show you, um, the lock screen is also fully working. All right, so I've got Pandora playing here. I'm gonna turn down the sound just because I don't want copyright strike on my channel. And now when there's Pandora or any kind of music player, um, you'll be able to swipe and control it. You can see my always on display. I can go ahead and swipe, um, change the music if I want without unlocking my screen. Now it's on a Friday Ice Cube. Also, I can check out my calendar and back to the clock. All right, so it's a fully working always on display just like on a Galaxy S8. All right, but the home button doesn't work. All right, that's the only feature that's not really working. All right, you'll see my device name is now Galaxy S8 Plus. My model number is SMG955F, which is actually the official model number of the S8 Plus that's coming out. It does run Android version 7.0 with Samsung Experience version 8.1. All right, so far been very flawless. Uh, battery life is pretty decent. Uh, of course, you get uh, Bixby also, so you can go ahead and check out all the Bixby features, which is good. Um, you got all the SA icons, uh, the calendar app, contacts, email app, all that good stuff in this ROM. But I really like, I really like the Infinity display. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's go ahead and check out the camera real quick. All right, this is a real Galaxy S8 camera, by the way. Let me go ahead and show you all the options. All right, drag to the left, you'll get auto, pro, selective focus, slow motion, panorama, hyperlapse, continuous shot, night shot, food, video collage, virtual shot, beauty face, rear cam selfie, shot and more, dual camera, aqua, tag shot, sports sound shot. Um, aqua, I believe that's for making videos or photos underwater, which is cool, animated GIF. All right, there is a Bixby button. And right now, that's the only feature of the S8 Plus camera that's not working on the Note 5. And the coolest feature of the S8 Plus is now available on the Note 5. Let me go ahead and show you. Okay, I was actually printing out some photos of my daughter with the Polaroid Zip Printer, which I highly recommend, by the way. I'll have a link up here where you can check it out after this video. Anyway, I printed out a bunch of photos and I was actually just messing with the S8 camera. And I, don't, I actually noticed that they actually pick up the faces. Pretty cool. So if I get it just right, I can also pick up the dog. Look at that, and take a photo. Ah, the new autofocus feature uh, working on my Note 5. Look at that, oh, that's pretty cool. All right, another cool feature, you can go ahead and add cool stuff uh, like a burger. Um, you can also click on it and resize it. And all right, put that somewhere there and you can take a photo. And you can even make a video. This would work great for uh, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. Uh. All right, starting with the S8, there is a floating camera button. So if I enable this, now you have a floating camera button that you can use anywhere, all right? For example, if you wanna hold it with your left hand and you wanna hit the shutter button and you take a selfie and stuff, you can do that or you move it to the top. 
um, sort of an extra button, which is kind of cool. All right, you do also get all of the new S8 edge panels. That's right. You can do a SMR select rectangle, oval, change that into a animated GIF, capture that area. Pretty awesome stuff. All right, I got my shortcuts there. Uh, people edge. All right, the biggest difference obviously is Smart Select. Let's actually go ahead and take a look real quick. So with S8 Plus, you'll have Smart Select, um, Clipboard Edge, Reminders, Device Maintenance, uh, Task Edge, Weather, Quick Tools, Samsung Internet, Sports, Finance, CNN, um, all that good stuff. And you can also download more, of course. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to install this ROM on any Note 5, any S6 Edge Plus. Um, you don't have to have a rooted phone. You just have to install twerp and install this ROM. All right, first thing you want to do is actually download the ROM. Go to my site uh, and go ahead and download Conloy Nougat V4. That's what you need. Now, if you're using T-Mobile or Canadian variant of the Note 5 or S6 Edge Plus, make sure you download uh, Nougat VOLT Fix. That will also fix your voice. These two files you should have downloaded on your phone before we begin. All right, in this first part, I'm gonna show you how to install Twerp. If you already have Twerp installed because you've already rooted your Note 5 or S6 Edge Plus, um, you can go ahead and skip this step. All right, first thing you're gonna do, go into settings. All right, go into about phone. All right, next go into software information and go ahead and hit on the build number a bunch of times, all right, until it says you have enabled uh, developer mode. There we go, has been turned on. Hit the back button twice uh, and you'll see developer options, all right? Go into developer options and make sure OEM is checked on, all right? Most phones have this option. If you don't see it, some phones don't have it, you're good. All right, but if you do see this option, make sure it's on because we're gonna go ahead and flash torp. If it's off, it's not gonna flash correctly. I right, also note that you'll have to do a factory reset um, by following this method. You won't lose contents of your internal storage or micro SD card, but you're gonna lose your apps, settings, and all that. So just know before following this guide, you're gonna lose all of that. All right, go ahead and power off your Note 5 or S6 Edge Plus. Next, you're gonna go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and power. Go ahead and hold it down until you see the warning screen. All right, let go of all the buttons when you see the warning screen. Hit volume up to put it into download mode. And go ahead and connect a micro USB cable to your computer. And let's go to our computer. All right, guys, flashing torque recovery on your Note 5 or S6 Edge Plus, you will lose Samsung Pay permanently because this will set off the Knox counter. So if you absolutely need Samsung Pay right now, go ahead and stop and do not do this, all right? This is for those of you who are willing to sacrifice for Samsung Pay. So go to galaxynote5root.com uh, go for Note 5. Go to CWM Twerp Recovery for Galaxy Note 5. And go ahead and download the appropriate uh, Twerp Recovery for your phone. All right, for me, I'm using T-Mobile, so I'm going to click there. Um, the actual download link, um, ignore the ads. It's down here by download here. Please wait uh, one second. Go ahead and click to download. I've already downloaded. Now, if you're using uh, S6 Edge Plus, you can just go to uh, twerp.me. Go to devices, type S6 Edge Plus. All right, and go ahead and download the appropriate uh, twerp recovery for your models. For example, if you have SMG 925F, go ahead and download the latest twerp. Um, so the latest is 3.1.0.0, the one ending in .tar. Don't download the regular image, download the .tar, all right? Once that's done, um, go into your downloads. Um, you should also download Odin Zip. I'll have links for this and also Samsung USB drivers. Now I'll be using Windows um, because Odin is really only compatible for Windows, so I do recommend using Windows computer. All right, go ahead and double click this, extract all files, and you'll get a folder uh, Odin with the files you need. Go ahead and double click on that, hit run. And if you don't see this uh, blue highlighted box, all right, that means you don't have drivers installed, go ahead and double click on Samsung USB drivers, install it. Uh, unplug your phone and plug it back in and you should see this but if you don't see this um do not keep going all right make sure you see com.45 choose ap here go to your downloads folder and choose the twerp recovery you downloaded for your model of node 5 or s6 edge plus all right we're gonna simply go ahead and install twerp recovery all right and now um Go back to your phone, all right, and be ready to press volume up, center home, and power. As soon as this is done flashing, we're gonna boot straight into Twerp, all right? So I'm gonna hit start, all right? And it's gonna flash recovery, 
reset. As soon as your phone goes off, go ahead and hold down volume up, center home power. All right, you can let go of the power up button, but keep holding down volume up and center home, and you should be in Torp recovery. Now, if you miss this step, um, you can go ahead and hold down volume down and power until your phone resets. As soon as it turns black, do that again. Volume up, center home, and power. And you'll get into this menu. All right, next you're gonna do wipe. You're gonna do swipe to factory reset. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't wanna lose all my stuff. Uh, but that will erase all your apps, app settings. Um, it's gonna factory reset it. But the contents such as photos and videos in your Note 5, it's still gonna be there. All your contents of your SD card, it's still gonna be there. All right, swipe to do factory reset. Go back, hit home, go to install, and go to Kong Loy uh, Nougat V4. Swipe to flash and you get a Aroma Graphical Installer. All right, go ahead and click next. Agree, next, next. Uh, choose a full wipe again, all right. And go ahead and choose your device, whether you have a Note 5 or S6 Edge Plus. All right, works on all these models. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, N920T, which is T-Mobile. And you can go ahead and choose if you have dual SIM or one SIM variant. But most people, it's gonna be one SIM. Hit next. Um, go ahead and choose your CSC. I'm using T-Mobile, so I'm gonna go ahead and use T-Mobile. All right, um, you can choose international or China smart manager app. Hit next. Um, also, if you want the Galaxy S8 camera, you can go ahead and choose the S8 camera here. That will install the S8 camera. This ROM also has dual speaker mod, which means um, you'll be able to listen stereo with your earpiece in the bottom and makes your speakers way loud. I totally recommend it, love it. All right, go ahead and click next. S Pen features, of course, because you have a Note device. If you want all of the latest Note features, go ahead and say yes. Next, and hit install now. All right, when that's done, reboot and you should be good to go. I'm not gonna actually install it. Um, and for T-Mobile or Canadian variant, you'll have to flash an additional file. Um, go back to install after installing ROM. Go ahead and choose uh, Nougat VOLT Fix. Uh, install, swipe to confirm to flash and reboot and you should have a fully working S8 on your Note 5. And that's pretty much how you can install on any Note 5 or S6 Edge Plus that is supported. And boom shakalaka. Your phone should come up uh, with a welcome screen. You'll have to redo all your setup uh, and do all that. And you'll have a fully working Galaxy S8 in your Note 5. And I totally forgot to mention this. Uh, with this ROM, you will also get all the S Pen features, including Smart Select, Screen Write, S Notes, Translate, all that good stuff. Given that this phone now has all the S8 features along with S Pen features, it actually makes it better than an S8 Plus or S8. So definitely check it out. And if you're in the market for cheaper Samsung phones, I would totally buy a used Note 5. Don't buy AT&T and Verizon, any other variant will work. Install this ROM, enjoy S8, S8 Plus features right now. Also, battery life is pretty horrendous on the Note 5, I know. But you can get around that by changing the resolution to 1080p or 720p in system settings display. Anyway, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me, and I'll see you guys soon as always. Stay.